think it's a little above what we expected. We didn't know what to expect. Oh, New at 11 is a push for shopping local enough for small businesses. The pandemic has forced some owners to close their doors around the tri-state, but for some Hamilton business owners, thinking outside the box has provided new opportunities. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains the unique ways they're doing more than just getting by. For months, Hamilton business owners have been touting two key words, shop local. And now during the holiday season, we're catching up with two owners to find out if it's working. If the year 2020 was a scented candle. I want to say burn, baby, burn, but I don't know what scent that would be. <laughs> Sherry Hoskins, owner of Hamilton's Petals and Wicks. I'd say bourbon, more bourbon. She knows too. It's been scary. I mean, I'll be quite honest. It's been scary times. But business over the past two months has revived the flame. I think it's a little above what we expected. We didn't know what to expect. We had no clue. Every single day is different. Every month is different. Every holiday is different now. The way people buy are different now. Everything is different. They transitioned to e-commerce and curbside pickup. Two stores down and you'll find Kaylin. These dinner desks are really great. Along with Pet Once Hamilton store owner Rachel Steinman. They'll admit it's been a tough year. We would see business up and down, up and down. We've modified our business hours. Steinman also says this year has brought its own challenges. The neat thing about Hamilton is is that when there's some type of adverse challenge that's out there, they stand up and they say not today, not in our neighborhood. It is not happening and they have seen us through this time. She says the city and chamber have been proactive with downtown programming. I have such an incredible feeling of gratitude for our community for coming out and being with us, loving on us, making us be successful. These business owners know every sale counts to getting them closer to 2021. We really are grateful for all of their support this entire year. In Hamilton, Jake Ryle, WCPO, 9 News. Hmm.